And here's where we landed. The only card I would say is kind of weak in this list is probably Teething Wormlet, but we don't have a bunch of good one mana things. And we have a just enough artifacts, I think, to make this work. Uh, we're going to play Iron Apprentice because obviously it comes in with the plus one plus one counter, which triggers some other things. Bristly Build being new is kind of sweet because if we play a land, we get a plus one plus one counter on a creature, which is great. And then once we have five land, we just double the plus and plus ones on everything we control. Like, that's super sweet. Obviously, Gallag Readers, we've seen this in the past list. No surprise. We are playing Ozolith as well because we get an extra counter for every counter. Beast Caller just makes counters because our deck's basically all creatures. And then Botanical Brawler, because if everything else gets counters, this gets counters. And we've won a bunch of games in the past with just Botanical Brawler, which is super sweet. We also have Archdruid's Charm, which was a late addition that the chat wanted. So we went ahead and found a way to squeeze this in here. And we left in a couple of Bloated Contaminators, because this can also, due to prow or proliferate, be able to put extra plus one, plus one counters on things. And then if we get our combo, a turn two Bristling Bill that lives in a turn three Kadama... This could be really cool because then we just keep putting counters on things as we get more land. And then we eventually have enough land that we could double it with Bristly Bill. So like, that's actually pretty sweet. We're also going to try Railway Brawler. This is a big 5-5 five, five for 5. It has Reach. It has Trample. Creatures enter with an additional set of plus one, plus one counters equal to their power, which is super awesome. It does have Plot. So if we don't want to overcommit to the board, we can kind of set it aside, which is really awesome. And then we can just have it for later. But also... And this is something we kind of realized by accident is that if we have all that mana and we have a brawler and we play a hydra hydra basically comes in with double counters because you can pay x and a green let's call it four comes in but we already have a brawler so that four becomes eight that has vigilance trample and haste don't know if either of these two card ish combos if you want to call them that are going to happen but maybe so let's go find out all right we'll keep this this ain't bad I mean, we can Beast Caller into Kadama, and now we got a third green to be able to play the Druid, or the Archdruid Charm, so that's pretty cool. Um, Yeah, I think we're just sticking with the plan here. No cut down, please. All right. <laughs> that's always, like, the scariest thing with the Beast Caller. You're like, please don't have the removal. I want at least one counter. Come on, man. Give me the one. Oh, are we going to get batted? Oh, that would have sucked. Oh, we got Bill and we got Kadama. Ah, dang it. I want to, but I don't I don't think we can yet. <laughs> uh maybe. Let's try it. Uh Beast Caller gonna die? Oh no, is Kadama gonna die? Neither one died! Oh man. Okay. I I didn't think we were gonna get this lucky. Oh boy, what's happening? Oh, blood letter. That's not fun. Good thing, chat, thanks. Good thing we added in this Archdruid's Charm. Because we're definitely going to need that right now. Uh, we put it on Kadama and then play Bliss Bristly Bill, I think is the plan. I, like, I mean, we could do this. We could attack and just kill it, right? That's the other option. But then, I mean, yeah, no, I don't want to do that. I don't want to do it. I want to use this. I think this is what we're going to do. And then I'm just going to play this and we're just we're just going all in. We're just going for all the big things. Come on, let's do it. And then we get to put counters on Bill. Woo! We're doing the thing, y'all. All right. And then if Bill don't die, we get to double the counters on everything. What does this symbol mean? I've never seen that. Why is there an arrow? It, does this a way to just say it has reach? Is this new? Like, I've never seen this before on anything. I don't, I don't. Oh, we were about to get comboed. Oh, Felipe, you, mm, you're a mean person. Uh, I, mm, Bill, you nice and all, but. Nah, we're keeping Bill. Who am I kidding? Actually, are we? I don't think it matters, actually, because we have a creature land. Yeah, alright. Sure. And then Bill's just going to be big. Because we put all the counters there. And then we just creature land up. 
Though it probably would have been smarter to activate first and attack with the creature land. Wow. All right, Bristly Bill did the thing. We did the thing right out of the gate. Love it. <laughs> okay, we get to go first. We're definitely keeping this. We got the combo. We got Bill into Kadama. <laughs> I'm not going to lie to y'all. This is like the most little kid thing, but it's so fun. I'm not going to lie. This is amazing. <laughs> oh, this is so good. I'm really hoping that that symbol is not telling people a thing has reach. I mean, it's really good for the game, honestly. It is. But I miss, like, opponents just forgetting you have reach. Hey, we got a three-month subber. Thank you. Thank you. And a new subscriber. Man, y'all are awesome. Thanks. Don't mess with my bristly bill. No! Ah! Oh! <laughs> Dang it. All right, we may be going the other way. This might end up being a botanical brawler plan then. And we'll just use Bill as backup. Let's go brawler. Because if they have a counter, I'd rather the brawler get hit first here, I think. <laughs> and if it's just a kill spell, just kill something. No, impulse. Oh, I don't know what this is. I thought this might have been like some type of is it aggro type deck but now i have no idea oh no no i'm aware that reach already has the little icon but there was definitely a glowy thing over our card in the last game that hasn't ever appeared before or at least i've never noticed it if it did is there anything we can click on on this board that does anything fun doesn't look like it nope all right what you got for us opponent I don't think this brawler is going to live. Oh, it did live. Hmm. Okay, then. Uh, whoa, we have choices. Let's go... Wormlet. Oh, no counters or anything here? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Business is about to pick up, y'all. Okay. Oh, man, if we get another land next turn and untap land, we can play Bill plus Kadama. Woo! Yeah, you got to kill something here, opponent. Things are about to get out of control. What is this guy? Enters the battlefield, target instant sorcery from the graveyard to their hand. Okay, so they can just bounce something again. Yeah, fair enough. You do you. Ah, we got a land, but it was not the land, unfortunately. Wait, is that only till end of turn? Oh. Well, okay then. Um, sure. Let's get it. Oh, man. No resistance? Are we just going to die to something wacky next turn? <laughs> I feel like that might be the case, but let's see. See? It has a little glowy thing. It's telling your opponent, like, this duder has reach. I think that's what's happening now. Like, people might have complained about secret reach or something. Uh, that's great if it's true, though. Our time of the secret reach may be gone, y'all. I, I think this is now making it very obvious that our ground creatures we love to play with reach have reach. Our opponents will no longer forget that they have the secret reach. I am disappointed. <laughs> but it's cool, though. I mean, it's actually probably better for the game, to be honest. Even if they attack here, I also kind of just want to not block and see how much damage they can do. Because I'm sure it's a lot. They have four cards and five mana. Well, I wasn't going to get to block anyway, so look at that. <laughs> All right, what you gonna do? How bad is it? Like rage, rage something? I mean, we're at 20, so meh. Oh no, the great train heist. And then they get another attack step. Oh no, they didn't. They didn't go through that option. All right, well, we're gonna combo up here basically. Uh, Cause we can play everything.
Do do do. Oh man, that was sick. Uh, we go first. Yes, we'll keep this. Ooh, we drew the gold vein hydra this time. That's fun. I love that it gives me the option to play hydra for zero. Like that's that's not the world we're in here, friend. You got a tiny bones. Uh, okay. So the question now becomes: Do we want tiny uh, uh, breeders or do we want beast collar? I think we want beast collar here. I think. I could have also... Oh, you, I messed up. I could have just hydroed for one and then just blocked Tiny Bones. Like, that was the actual play. <laughs> like, that's exactly what I should have done. Why did I not do that? I could have got a treasure if they block or whatever. Um. Okay, so what do we do now? I think we go here. Into this. And then we'll get a treasure, so that sets up a bigger Hydra. And then we'll attack. Tiny Bones blocks. We move those counters to the Gala Greeters, maybe? I uh, have one each. Yeah, sure, that's fine. Teething Wormlet, you might be in for a bad time. The rest, I got all creatures, friend. <laughs> like, that's how we roll around here. This, this is what we do. Alright, let's do it, y'all. This is why we're playing this, right? Let's go one, two, three, four for the Hydra. Uh, we'll go treasure so we can grow the wormlet and fight with these two. All right. What are we looking at here? And there's a battle of a target opponent. Discards a card. We're going to get rid of a Gala Greeters, I believe. That makes a clue token. All right. We are going to... I mean, are, are they? They're not sweeping the board, are they, right? Next door? That doesn't make sense. Maybe they are. I don't know. Um, Go ahead and put a counter, I suppose. They'd be able to trade, trade if we do that. I probably should have made a treasure and attack with a wormlet and old vein hydra. Hmm. I might have goofed up. I think I messed up. Because now I just give them quality attack blocks here. I don't like that. Alright. That's unfortunate. I think I messed that up. I should have made a treasure or a treasure there. Alright. Tis what it is, though. Make a mistake, you gotta eat it. Mm-mm-mm-mm. Well, what do we got? I mean, they might just, you might just play uh, Shield Raid or something here. Pillage the Bog. Look at the top X card of your library where X is twice the number of lands you control. Put one into your hand and the rest on the bottom of your library. That's pretty sweet. Just look at eight and take a card. That's pretty strong because you're almost always... I mean, you're not going to look at less than four for that, right? Price and number of lands? Yeah. That's actually pretty sweet. Alright. They found another land. I mean, if they have a kill spell, they're still alive here, I think. Because you can block one no matter what. Oh, yeah. that's That'll work, too. And Tiny Bones at a tough touch. You've got a little bit of everything, as it turns out. I'll go ahead and play this. Uh, get up. Plus one. I don't think it matters to get the creature right now, so I guess we just attack. Yep. Kind of do what we can do. Alright. I mean, that's the best we got. <laughs> like, can't do much else. 
Yeah, I definitely messed up on the previous turn. I think if I lose, it's because of that play, honestly. Alright. I mean, currently, the plus side is they can't really draw a lot with those because they're at 2 life. And now we don't fear something like Shieldred, so that's kind of nice. They could still, like, uh, what's it called? Gix's Command here. And that would leave us with no creatures. I mean, I could make the Merrick's token, I guess. And then just move the plus one, plus one over to it. Yeah, that's probably what I would do. Is all of our stuff going to die? That's very sad if this is the case. Ooh, risking it for the biscuit. Gonna go to one. This feels a lot safer for us now, though, since we can make the Merrick token and still attack with the uh, Prentice. All right, we got there. Okay, what can we do here? So we turn one Apprentice, turn two Brawler or Ozzel. Actually, probably turn two Beast Caller. I don't know. We'll see. But this is definitely a hand we're keeping either way. I feel like we... Brawler, probably? Oh, man, I have to discard something here? Ugh, this is a tough choice. This is going to feel gross, but it might... Ah, ah, man, this is a terrible option. I'm getting rid of Ozolith, y'all, and I'm going to regret that later. I know it. Oh, maybe not. I picked up another brawler, so cool. All right. Uh, I No, I think discarding Gold Vein Hider was the correct answer, but we're just being greedy. <laughs> Risking it for the biscuit. All right. In the turn. I just realized something else, too. Because there's the pause, it might set opponents up thinking that you have something like one of the protective spells when all we actually have is the Hydra, which is kind of funny. All right, so if we go 2-2 two, two Hydra here and they block, we would end up with 2 Treasure and they would take 8-9. I ain't mad at that. Actually, no, because each of these would pump each other as well. Yeah, all right, I'm into it. Let's go. Yep. Let's get it. Alright, I'll put a counter over on the Hydras. Gamblers, ga Greeds, Gambits. Oh yeah, they got a bunch of Duders. Alright, fortunately, our Botanical Brawlers trample. So, we got everything now. We got it all. Giant monsters every which way. And those are going to get three counters each. Man, and this was with us discarding the Ozolith. Gross. Get it. <laughs> That's so good. So good. Oh. All right. We'll keep this. Okay, we're going to go Wormlet, and then I think we're going to go Wormlet Apprentice, I think, and then see what we do after that. No blocks. We got some extra life coming, so we're not sweating. Oh, that's actually really good for next turn, because then we still have that play, so that's sweet. Love that. All right, no attacks. Yikes. Well, that's annoying. All right, we'll block one of these dudes at least. You can have a card, though. That seems fair. All right, now we get to kind of hopefully start turning things around a little bit here. Play this. Play this. Grow our team a little bit. 
back with this. All right. Let's see where we're headed from here. The wormlets have not been as much of a liability as I thought. We've managed to get counters on them fairly regularly, so maybe we're fine. Uh, guess what I'm blocking with, opponent? In case you were wondering. Tiny bones. Garevek. All right. Um, hmm. We attack with the beast caller. It's probably correct. I think that's what we're doing. I mean, here's the thing. If we save to block the Tiny Bones, because they can play anything out of our graveyard, right? Target non-land permanent. Mm. Mm. Maybe I'm supposed to wait till I can attack with Contaminator. <clears throat> it feels a little too weak, though. But all right, that's fine. Because blocking with the Beast Caller is more than reasonable with the Tiny Bones. But this is cool. This is just like hardcore mono black aggro. This I can really get behind. I mean, I'm blocking the tiny bones. Just letting you know. All right. And I guess we'll just give a counter to one to everybody. All right. Come on. Big card. Something important. They're going to redraw Tiny Bones and just replay it? Yeah, of course. Good call, good call. Ooh, another Contaminator, though. Doesn't suck. I can live with that. Let's attack with this Contaminator. I mean, two things block. Force me to... I mean, you could block with, like, Karavik and Gix, and I have to choose... And if it's just Tiny Bones, I don't mind, because then we just get to trample over, pump our team. Alright, so they are just blocking with Tiny Bones here. Okay, cool. Fair enough. Okay, come on. Artifact would be great, because then we get some big attackers that cause some blocking issues. Or, the best thing would probably be Kadama here, because then everybody has Trample. Or, we could just draw three lands in a row. <laughs> that's that's the other option. Uh, that did not work, did it? So now we attack. They could double block one, double block the other, and leave us with just a Contaminator. Bleah. That sucks for us. Alright, well, I think they got this. I think we might have just got outdrawn. Unless they just block to where they lose their whole board. I mean, that's kind of the only thing we have going here. Otherwise, I'm not sure how we get away with this. Kadama would have been a sick rip there, though. Or even Bristly Bill, because we had another... Well, no, because we already played our land out. Hmm. Okay. I can see that. Go to one, and then see if you draw something. Okay, that makes sense, too. Alright, so we gotta decide which of these is more important. They can cast a copy, but... Target card from your graveyard. You can cast it. Uh, so they're going to be at 7 life. How do we feel about that? But you do have to commit a crime, and they don't have anything right now. So I think we just kill Yogmoth. And we just see what happens. Find out what that last card is in their hand. Okay, that wasn't as bad as that could have been. Oh, this guy can't block. I totally forgot. I had new cards. 
Read the damn cards, Dragon. I'm sure somebody's going to be saying that in the comments. <laughs> Alright, opponents at 7. They could target something and still replay something out of their yard. So if they get to kill Contaminator here, they could go to 5 and play Tiny Bones, I think, right? But it's just target black card, not even spell or creature or whatever. Okay, they're getting rid of the Wormlets. I thought they would have targeted Contaminator because then they could just block the Wormlet. That's interesting. Man, that's a crazy effect, isn't it? All that, like... Is this what we're using to designate crime? Like, that's crazy. <laughs> that's wild looking. Alright, so they get to replay that. Seems good. They go to five. Attack, obviously. So that's what I would do. Probably go to four. Something they can play for one? Oh, no. That's got to be bad for us, right? Oh, my gosh. Oh, we're going to so die now. That sucks. I should have just played one of these lands there. But either way, I think we're dead. We've drawn, I think, four lands in a row now. That's tough. Man, even something like a... Uh, Ozolith would have been good there. So we just made Contaminator big enough to trade for both of their relevant bodies. But man, we're going to be struggling now. Now they... Oh, now they have the ability to use... Oh, no. This is tough. <sighs> Oh, this is scary. Oh, they're playing Lost Jute. All right, there you go. That's a thing. Whip cost is one. Yep. All right, that's the good news, though. Because currently it doesn't do anything. So we kind of got lucky. Thank you, Bill. At least you showed up and care about us. <laughs> uh, alright so now the question is where we put encounters I think we put the counter on Bill and pass the turn and then next turn we can put a counter on Contaminator attack pump Bill I thought this game was getting away from us Seriously, I, it may still be, but the fact we're not dead, cool. And it's all worked out better that I saved these lands, actually. I wasn't even thinking about drawing, Bill. Greeters. I don't know that you do anything here, Gala Greeters. Alright, so... We put a counter on Contaminator, we attack with everybody... We double the counters. Assuming they block Bill, block... I think this is it? What else would they have in hand here? Alright. I don't know what else they could have. But I mean, I guess this is how we find out. Those answers... Oh, man, this feels like a scary attack, but here we go. I feel like we just got to go for it. Oh, they're saying GG? Nothing? For real? Oh, okay. They're just going for our top card. Oh, no, they're, yeah, they're targeting us, so there's crime, but they can't cast this stuff. All right, cool. Woo, that was crazy. I really thought they were going to come back and get us. No, you don't die because of Gix. You don't have to pay. It's a may. When a creature deals combat damage to a player, one of your opponents, its controller may pay one. Yeah. Uh, all right. We'll bump our duders, I guess.
I mean, because they have to pay two to do it, even if they had the mana, right? Oh, man. Ooh. Good game, Ruckus. For real. Okay. This has kind of what we need. So we go Wormlets into Ozolith. And then we either get to play Kadama or we just play Hydra, I think. Is how this has to work. Now, do we bring a full-on Counterspell deck to the early access events? No. Do we get a kill spell here? Of course we do. All right. I'm, I'm not going to lie, if this ends up being a control deck, that's not what we're trying to do for early access. I'm just going to concede and we're going to move on because I ain't trying to play all that right now. That ain't the life we're trying to live on an early access day. Mm -mm. Oh, you're too kind, Greg Clevenger. I mean, I actually... I like him a lot. I think he's actually a really fun creator. I think Swayze is pretty sweet. Swayze is good people as far as I'm concerned. Uh, Alright. We'll do this. Opponent, are you even playing new cards? Come on now. What are we doing? Alright. We're going to get rid of another creature here. We're just playing the all removal deck. Sure, why not? <laughs> I get that people like playing these types of decks, but like, is this really what we're doing on early access? We're just playing all the... Alright. We're just going to sick rip the rest of the way, y'all. We're going to get this job done. We got faith in the process. Um, let's use one of these first. We found a land. That was not what we were looking for. I'm going to go ahead and play this. All right. What's the next removal card you have? Virtue of Loyalty. Fantastic. Fantastic. Well, now we need to find one of our charms, right? Isn't that the game plan? No. Well, now we have a Seiju, so that's nice. A good little addition. Um, hmm. How do we want to go about this? I think we just play this tapped. We, well... All right, obviously they have something, or they wouldn't have left the mana up, but we'll see. All right, we attack. It's probably a Wandering Emperor. All right, yo, I'm just moving on. GG's. All right, we're going to keep this for show. Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm. Another is our second appearance of Lost GTA today from opponents. Ooh, we're going to get to play Brawler this game, I think. Ooh, Rona. That's cool. I wonder what they're doing. Sadly, I only get to attack with this, but I do get a land... Let's go ahead and get that. That means we could play Brawler next turn. Man, y'all don't know how disappointed I am at this silly bow and arrow on my dude. <laughs> mm -mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. All right, Tiny Bones is loaded up. I feel like I need to fight Tiny Bones for some reason. Um, We're not, though, I don't think. Pretty sure I'm just attacking with this. Tiny Bones might block. That makes sense. All right. 
We get some land, we get to move counters. I'm probably just going to put it on Kadama. Sure. Sounds about right. We get a land. Alright. Cool, cool. Yeah, now I have two things that have the magical bow and arrows or whatever now. Relic. Alright, so they get to do some things. We have 9, 10, 11. Definitely don't have enough to get the job done here. Oh, is this some type of combo situation? They're just going to go off now? Ajar, that's a good card too. Ooh, we have enough to blow to Contaminator and fight something. That's a thing. They're just going to draw and discard. All right, we, we see the reanimator options in the graveyard. Uh, they might just be hard casting with all the mana too, though, with the relic. Ooh, opponent's going deep. I like it. This is cool. Yep, you got a Titan Bone joins up, so I have to discard something. Uh, man, I really want to... I, I think we have to discard this. Alright. So real talk, do we want to kill Rona, or do we want to kill this? I think that's the real issue here. Um, I'm going to go ahead and play this pre-combat, just in case something wild happens. We at least get a 2-2 out of that. And then... I mean, I guess it's safe to attack with everything? Kind of? <laughs> All right, sure. Brennus, why not? You get a piece of the action. I don't know if we need to kill Rona. I think we have to kill the... I think we have to kill the Relic. The Relic's going to be the bigger problem, I think, in all this. Um... Spread this around so we just have more things that can attack, I think. So yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. Destroy the relic. Though in hindsight, should have put the counter on the brawler, actually. Because then it'd be able to trample if I keep Kadama. But either way, we'll see. One of their creatures can't even block right now. But that at least turns off the ability to cast like an Atraxer or something if they had one in hand. Botanical Brawler. Eh, you might do something when the Apprentice dies. Maybe. Oh, Urti oh, maybe you give us a better card here, though. Come on, maybe. Right? One can dream. Come on, now. Oh, no, you're just killing that. Okay, that works, too. So we get to keep the Brawler. Oh, that's not bad. Okay. Don't love it, but we can live with that. That's acceptable. I mean, you gotta block with something. It's still lethal. <laughs> you, know, like, you, you gotta stop something. Alright. Kill this. So you'll save your dude. That makes sense. All right, they're at one. We go hunting, get the last couple of basics that are in the deck. All right, we have a bunch of cards that can help us win now. Can we find them? That's the question. Even Bill just doubles counters on everything right now. Like, Bill would be awesome. Anything that puts counters on things, a girl with a brawler. So, like... Even a Ozolith is fine. 
All right, come on. Man, Crookies went deep on this deck. This is cool. All right. Oh no, we failed. We failed. That was the worst thing that could have happened. Ugh, that sucks. All right. We need them to not find a removal card here, I guess. Uh, yep, you get to draw and discard. You got it. Oh, no. Yeah, might as well draw with it. Get deeper, get a couple cards. I mean, Botanical Brawler at least tramples. So we got that going for us. Oh, this is way closer than we want it to be. All right. What do we got? What's that last card? No, oh, it's another Skrelf. All right, cool. Whew, close. Okay. So, this uh, plus one, plus one counters deck. Pretty good. Pretty good. Not going to lie. It did what we wanted to. The new cards were actually pretty sweet. Could we get away with another Gold Vein Hydra or something? Maybe. I don't know. How important is Railway Brawler? Maybe not greatly. Um... It's not bad. I mean, it is a big body on its own, and every card after that just being pretty big is kind of neat. However, I would say that playing more Archdruid's Charms might be the way to go, realistically. And we can probably get rid of this one Plains and just turn it into a Forest. We just don't need it particularly. I mean, we only have a handful of white cards, and we can cast them fairly. Not once did we have an issue casting a Botanical Brawler. So... Probably don't even need that. But yeah, finding some combination to play another Archdruid Charm is probably the right answer, if I were guessing. But outside of that, don't have too many complaints. So, final list. Four Teething Wormlet, four Iron Apprentice, three Bristly Bill, which was super fun. This card was really neat. Uh, four Gallag Readers, three Ozolith, four Quirion Beast Caller, four Botanical Brawler, two Archdruid Charm, two Bloated Contaminator, three Kadama of the West Tree, two Wellway Brawler, three Gold Vein Hydra, 1 Igondro, Besaju, 6 Forest, 4 Brushland, 4 Overgrown Farmland, 4 Rays of Virtue Thicket, 2 Restless Prairie, 1 Merix. I will also say, I could see an argument being made for an extra Restless Prairie if you wanted to get rid of maybe one Forest for that. Because we were able to play pretty regularly, didn't really worry about lands coming into play tapped. Our deck's actually pretty cheap, so it's not a bad thing if you want to have... Maybe even we just do that, just add another Restless Prairie. And then you have that, so whenever you decide to play against, like, I say decide, but when you run into some of the control decks or whatever, I think that's a reasonable option to have. And again, we could also cut a Brawler for another Archdruid's Charm, and I think that would be reasonable, because the deck is loaded right now with 33 creatures, so I think we'd be okay if we cut one uh, and just went for another Archdruid's Charm and give you some versatility and killing some stuff off. So yeah, nothing wrong with that. But yeah, anyway, enjoy this deck. It was pretty sweet, and we still got more OTJ stuff.